A calorie deficit helps you lose weight, but the question is, how much of a deficit should you be on? Find out in this video. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to this channel. If you are new here, my name is Srivatsa and I am a self-taught fitness enthusiast. I say self-taught because I do not have any formal education in this. Uh, everything I have learned and teach on this channel is through um, reading, experimenting, trial and error, and years of experience. If you are a college student, just like I was a few years ago, or a working professional working a nine to five, just like I am right now, and you're looking to stay fit, lose weight, build muscle, and improve your life, then you are at the right place, my friend. Every week, I'm gonna be sharing delicious, low-calorie Indian recipes, which you can add straight into your diet and still make progress in the gym. Along with that, I'm gonna be sharing fitness-related content broken into simple terms, which help me to go from this to this, and also personal self-improvement habits, because at the end of the day, I am just like you, trying to get better every day. So please do consider subscribing to this channel. If you have ever tried to lose weight, uh, you've probably heard that a calorie deficit is required and I've spoken about it quite a bit on my channel as well But how much of a deficit should you actually create to lose fat? All right, so let's first start with the basics. What is a calorie deficit? I am going to breeze past this because I have spoken about it quite a bit in my previous videos If you want a detailed explanation of it do watch this video over here But basically a calorie deficit is when you are consuming lesser calories than what you are burning on a daily basis It's basically the law of thermodynamics in which calories going in is lesser than the calories going out Which then creates a deficit and therefore you lose weight But now the next question is how much of a deficit should you create to lose weight? And for that, you first want to calculate your maintenance calories. That is basically the amount of calories that you need to be consuming to maintain your current weight. Basically, calories in is equal to calories out. There are many calculators on the internet where when you enter your age, height, and weight, they do give you rough estimates of your maintenance calories. I have linked one down in the description, so do check it out. But I have said this before, and I'm gonna say it again, all of these methods are not 100% accurate. They will give you a ballpark number, and it's all about trial and error. I would monitor my weight for about a week or two, and if it stays relatively the same, then that is pretty much your maintenance calories. Now, let's figure out how much of a deficit you should create. So, in theory, 3,500 calories is equal to one pound of fat. Let me say that again, in theory, 3,500 calories is equal to about one pound of fat. So it is estimated that you need to burn 3,500 calories to lose one pound. So if you create a 500 calorie deficit per day, that would be a 3,500 calorie deficit for a week, and therefore you would lose one pound per week. Now, is this the same for everyone? Absolutely not. There are many factors that come in the way, but we will not get into all of that. Let's keep it simple. Let's stick to these values. So in theory, if you create a 500 calorie deficit per day, you can lose up to one pound per week. If you create a thousand calorie deficit per day, you can lose up to two pounds per week. And if you create a thousand five hundred calorie deficit per day, you can lose up to three pounds per week. It sounds pretty simple, right? But let me tell you, it's much more complex than that. And there are two factors that you need to consider while creating a calorie deficit. The first factor to consider is the health factor. Let's take an example to understand this. Let's say the maintenance calorie of this guy here, let's call him Bob, is 2000 calories. Okay, so basically he needs to eat 2000 calories per day to maintain his current weight. And let's say he's wanting to lose 20 pounds in 10 weeks for a wedding, okay? So based on the numbers that we went over previously, he would need to create a thousand calorie deficit to lose two pounds per week, which will get him to 20 pounds in 10 weeks, right? So his maintenance calories is 2000 calories per week. He's gonna be on a thousand calorie deficit. That is gonna put him on a thousand calorie diet per day. A thousand calories. Imagine how less he will be eating. He's gonna be undernourished. 
he's going to starve himself and he's going to put his body in danger because he's not getting enough nu nutrients. And he's also going to be losing so much of muscle because he's in such a huge deficit. And this concept is the same for women. For you, my friend, Bob, or anyone like Bob, lose, trying to lose two pounds per week is unsafe, period. A general rule of thumb I like to follow is women should not eat less than 1,200 calories per day and men should not eat less than 1,500 calories per day. And honestly, you never have to touch those numbers or even go below those numbers because you can make all the progress in the gym. You can go from fat to fit. You can make gains by, hitting num by eating more than 1,200 and 1,500 calories respectively. With that, let's take another example, a different guy. Let's call him... Bobby, okay, Bobby. Uh, let's say his maintenance calories is 3,000 calories per day. Now, can Bobby create a 1,000 calorie deficit? So if he does, he is, he's gonna be down to 2,000 calories per day, which is fine. He's still gonna lose muscle because it is a huge deficit, but it's still on the healthier side. So the whole point I'm trying to make here is you are trying to lose weight to live a healthy lifestyle. And if you remove the health aspect from it, then literally there's no point of it. Moving on to factor two, which is the sustainability factor. Now this has to do with your mental health, especially when you create huge deficits. Again, there are two kinds of people here. Type A, you are completely determined. You are ready to do whatever it takes. You are ready to sacrifice everything like partying, going out, living life, and you are on a mission to lose weight. You will do whatever it takes, even though you feel like shit, you are ready to do whatever it takes to lose weight and you create these massive deficits and probably you'll get away with it. And then there's type B, who also wants to lose weight, but wants to do it in a more enjoyable way, hold on to as much muscle as possible and eat your favorite foods and also feel good mentally and physically, then probably you don't want to create such huge deficits. My recommendation, guys, is to keep the deficits as low as possible. I wouldn't recommend creating more than a 300 calorie deficit from your maintenance but this is very important don't be one of those who are somewhere in the middle you know the ones I'm talking about the ones that go super crazy balls to the wall two to three weeks super strict and then finally they get burnt out and eventually they start binging and then what happens after that they go back to square one they feel bad about themselves they restrict 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 get burnt out and eventually binge again and the cycle repeats. And before you know it, something that was supposed to take you five to six months, if done correctly, a year passes by and you are probably where you started off. So either be type A, which I do not recommend, or be type B, where you create a small deficit and you enjoy the process and you are in peace mentally. With that, we conclude today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it informative. I try to break it down as simple as possible. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Do let me know in the comments down below and also do consider subscribing to this channel, guys. Um, it would mean a lot to me if you do share this video with others as well. So please do that. And I am gonna put this pen down and I will see you in the next video.